leadership in Ohio? Uh, you know, he's a, he's a great quarterback, talented, and he knows the system. So uh, when he's out there, he's just comfortable with making plays. What kind of leader is he? Uh, you know, he's just out there making plays. I mean, he's not the most vocal guy like Mason or uh, some other guys, but he's going to make sure he's doing everything right and everybody else is going to follow that. Is that kind of how the team leadership of this, this season is more just by mm -hmm. example? Yeah, for sure. I, I can say that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you got asked this before I walked mm -hmm. up, but uh, Coach Gundy sort of came out last night and says he, he thinks you know you're going to graduate and maybe move on after this year. Mm -hmm. Have you even started to think about that uh, that process yet? Uh, not really. No. Did it surprise you to, to see it coming from a coach like that? Oh, I haven't even seen it. You haven't so. seen it? No. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Um, what what are you studying? Are you on track to graduate this spring? Yeah, I have like I have like 30 hours left, so uh, yeah, I'm studying finance, so it's, it's fun right now. Mm -hmm. So so. So like, you're you're 15 and 15. You can you can mm -hmm. you can get there by spring. Yeah, pretty sure. Mm -hmm. How important has uh, has education been? Is it, is, from what I've heard, your parents really stress that a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a big deal because you know you want to be a student athlete. You just don't want to be an athlete, and so uh, football ends at some point in your life. And so being able to carry yourself and do things outside of football is important for me. Why that specific major? Then? I mean, I've always been like, into investments and finance and stuff like that. So. Uh, I've been doing that since early high school, and so um, that's something I, I've been doing ever since high school and doing now, and I want to do in the future. It helps you be better prepared to, to handle whatever money you get at the next level as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I just have one question, but mm -hmm. I need my camera to warm up here before I ask him, because I'm trying to trip you up. Mm -hmm. who, who won the race? Uh, you got to find out. I mean, who do you think won? August 24th, right? Is that what it said? Is that, that's what it said. It's going to be released know. August 24th. I didn't do it, but yeah, I think so. You'll see. Did you race without a shirt? Because you're in the picture. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. I had, uh, Is that not an advantage? <laughs> I mean, he, he could have took his shirt off too, so I guess. <laughs> I was asked who I thought won the race. Who would you say? I said justice. No, you didn't. Did you yes, correct? I did. All right. You, you were correct, then. <laughs> 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 Oh, hey, he's there. <laughs> how, how tough is that on mom? I know she tweeted out uh, just kind of like a, I'm not going to choose, but uh, you guys are fast. I mean, it's cool. You know? How many witnesses were there? Um, probably like five, maybe five people out there. Yeah, so. Videos so was getting ready to be a whole bunch. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> how tough was it, though, for, for mom, seeing, seeing her boys trying to compete oh. instead of competing with each other? Oh, we were just having fun. Just having fun. We heard Chuba got involved in some pretty big contact today. Can you kind of take me through that, mm -hmm. that play in your, from uh, your viewpoint? I mean, he's just a physical dude. I mean, inside run is a physical period. So uh, and whenever somebody comes up, you just bring in, bring what you got to. And that's what he did. Johnny said Chuba won. Can you... uh, he did because it was 31 and he got the first down. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it, it was it Eamon that he hit? No, nah, I think it was Zacharias. Zacharias? Yeah, it was Zacharias. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little, little unclear who he, yeah. Uh, who he, who he <laughs> yeah, it was a big little thump. <laughs> when you when you hear a hit like that, does, uh -huh. it, does it kind of get everybody a little bit fired up? Oh, yeah, for sure, especially during inside. So, is that something you you running backs take pride in? Because I mean, every you know, we talked down in Dallas, and you know, even the defenders said King and Brown are guys, and even you were guy or a guy that aren't necessarily just going to go side to side. Sometimes you guys want to run through people. I mean, you got to do whatever you can do to win. And in that situation, third and one. In order to win, you got to go through somebody. So uh, you don't want to have to do that every time. You know, sometimes you want to make a man miss, keep going. But uh, if, it, if it's 31 or uh, on the one yard line trying to get into the end zone, you got to do what you got to do. Does that surprise you that that came from Trubo? Because he's supposed to be the speed guy. Oh, no, not, not at all. I mean, he's a big dude, too. And so we all powerful, we're all strong, we're all fast. So we can all do the same things. And if that's being powerful, that's what we're going to do. Do you think he would have uh, maybe not stepped in as hard as that maybe last year when he's down 17 pounds? No, nah, he still would do the same thing. Hmm. Hey, you mentioned a couple of running backs that you look at, Thurman Thomas and then Barry Sanders. What do you take from each one of those guys' games? Uh, just being creative. I like how they're able to make a play when there's no play. And so whenever there's no play, I just want to be able to uh, make make plays even when there isn't a way to go. You mentioned out in Dallas that you'd love to pick the brains of, of both of them. Have mm -hmm. you gotten the opportunity yet? I know Thurman uh, tweeted out saying uh, he'd love to do that. that uh, not yet, not yet. In the works. In the works? Mm -hmm.